hey guys welcome to my channel welcome and welcome back so today i want to do a quick little birthday haul my birthday isn't until mother's day may 14th but my wife let me go ahead and pick some stuff up from ulta so i want to share with you guys the stuff that i picked up and then do a quick little tutorial using the stuff that i got which i'm kind of excited about so let me start with the stuff that's right in front of me so I went ahead and I picked up another e.l.f. Power Grip um, Primer. I love this stuff. I love it more than the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This one, in my opinion, is a lot more tacky. And my foundation sticks to it a whole lot better than the Hydro Grip. But, don't get me wrong, I do love the Hydro Grip. I will repurchase that any day. Next, I got the, what is this? Oh, here we go. Makeup Forever Hydra Booster Step 1 Primer. 24 hour base hydra, base hydrating, base hydrating, hydrate? I don't know. perfecting and smoothing primer. I wanted something a little bit more moisturizing, so I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, if you have used it, let me know down below what you think of it. What else? I got the Hydro Grip Grip Set Refresh Spray. A lot of people have been talking about this, so I went ahead and picked this up. gonna be fun to use and then I got the benefit pore professional super setter I got two of the Juvia place um, Juvia's Place Blush Liquid Blush. I have the shade Marigold and the shade Blush Lily. This is Marigold. Marigold? Marigold? But it's this orange shade right here. And then Blush Lily, which I think is my favorite. It's this like blue based light pink shade. Then I also picked up the Juvia's Place Blush Rouge in the, sh the volume 4. So pink. Then I got the makeup, I mean the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Wear Mattifying Weightless Waterproof Setting Powder. I had this before, absolutely loved it, so I knew I had to repurchase it. It's 
especially because it's summertime you need something waterproof you just you just need it this will come in handy especially because we're gonna cruise this july well this august i should say so Then I picked up the NARS Light Reflecting Setting Powder in the shade, uh, what shade is this, Mesa. Now, let me see if I can get that out. I was looking for the shade Sunstone, which looks like this. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. Which looks like that, and as you guys can see, this bad boy has been loved. I was initially looking for that, but I don't think they make it anymore, which sucks. So I am using it very, very loosely, you know. Well, not loosely, I guess I should say very, very liberally. But then I saw Mesa and thought this could probably be a good match. So we'll see. I'm not touching this one until I finish the other one. But it's nice to know that I have a backup because I love the way that these make my skin look. Especially after I set my skin with a pressed powder. It's nice to go in with something like this. Now, before I had just a fancy um, shade in MVP. But I went out and picked up two more because I loved MVP so much. The formula, everything, it was just chef's kiss. So I picked up Red Winner. Which is the brown shade. And then I got Riri. Even putting on the back of my hands, it just feels so good. Like Riri knew what she was doing. She was she did not come to play with us at all. So that's that. Now, let's beat the face. I have done my brows. My brows are done. It's not the best brow day. Don't come for me. But I kind of was like, you know, I'm gonna just leave it alone. They're sisters, not twins. Um, but yeah, I'm not having the absolute best brow day. It's not horrible, but it's not the best. You know what I mean? Um, let me go and wet my beauty blender, get a napkin, and I will be right back and we can get this show on the road. I forgot to show you guys stuff. I have four new Makeup Revolution palettes. Makeup Revolution is, Makeup Revolution eyeshadow is one of my favorite eyeshadows. 
I have the Huda Beauty, I have Natasha Denona, I have Morphe, I have, is that it? I think that's about it. Those are the eyeshadows that I have, and I have Coastal Scents. Um, but when I discovered Makeup Revolution, it was kind of like, okay, this is it for me. This is affordable, this is great quality, the pigmentation is there, it is just chef's kiss in my opinion. So I bought four new ones. The first one is this bad boy right here. It is in the shade Bear Pink. And it looks like this. This is the one I will be using today, I think. I'm not 100% sure. That's bare pink. Then they came out with their new stone, like rare stone or gemstone collection. So I picked up those three palettes. The first one is Amethyst. Look at how gorgeous those purple are. Then we have Adventury. Adventury. I have used this. I have used this already. I will insert a picture over here of the look that I created with this palette. And then the last one is Rose Quartz. Oh. Look at how gorgeous, like, <sighs> I literally have a drawer filled with Makeup Revolution palettes. So if you guys are interested in seeing my collection, let me know down below. I would be more than happy to show you guys what I got. It's a lot. Um, there's some that I haven't even used yet, but I keep picking them up. Why? I don't know. Don't tell my way. Alright, so I'm going to clean up, get everything ready, and then we're going to get into this tutorial. Okay, I'm back. So, my face is prepped. It's moisturized. It's glowing. I'm enjoying what it's doing. Um, so, let's just hop right in there. I'm going to start with priming with the e.l.f. Power Grip. And I like applying it to my hands and then pressing it into my skin. And the reason I do it this way is because I wear sunscreen. And when I rub in this product, every, my face turns white because of the sunscreen. So I learned that just patting it in works. And I still get the same effect. It's still sticky, it's still grippy, it's still white. So I'm going to let that sit for like maybe three minutes or so before we go ahead and apply foundation. Okay, I'm back. I let that do what it do. Now we're going to move on to foundation. I am using the Maybelline Superstay Afterwear Foundation in the shade 370 Deep Bronze. Okay, so that took a minute to get out of the tube. I'm not sure why, but I got it, so let us proceed. Now my mirror is over here, so if you see me looking over here, that's why.
Now, with this being mental health awareness month, I have been doing something that is completely out of the box for me, and I have been sharing my story on Instagram. I've been creating reels that talk about my bipolar disorder, my depression, my anxiety, and my PTSD. Um, it's been very, very cathartic. It's been very, very freeing. And I've been getting good feedback from it, which is something that I was afraid of. I was afraid that people weren't going to be receptive to it or that people would, you know, just not be open to the idea of listening to what I had to say, but that is not the case. So, that makes me happy. Okay, that's done. I forgot to bring out some contours. Let me break that out. We're gonna move on to the eyes. I decided on using rose quartz. Because I wanna go for a really, really pinky look. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and first use the Maybelline Coda Tattoo in the shade VIP and prime my lids. Now, don't judge me, but the brushes I'm about to use ain't none of them clean, but we are going to work with this. Okay. I'm going to take this Morphe by Jeffree Star. A Morphe with Jeffree Star JS8 brush. And I'm going to go into Empathy. It is this milk chocolate shade. And I'm going to put this in my crease. And also put this in the outer V. Okay, now I'm going to the shade Heart Chakra, it is this mauve pink shade, I'm going to put that all over my lids. And I think that's it. I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, for now, this is all I'm gonna do, for now. 
I'm enjoying the way this looks. Now let's go into concealer. I am using the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Shade Concealer in the shade 50. I have mastered how to use this concealer. Now, the trick to this concealer and maybe to all concealers and I just never really listened when other people talked about it but it's to let it sit it's got to sit it's got to get nice and tacky for you it's got to do all of that good stuff to work while that is working, I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hill Cream Bronzer in the shade Gold Brown. I love this as a contour because it is an actual contour. It's not warm. It's nice and cool. Nets. That's a net. Hence the name Gold Brown. First, I was mad intimidated by this bronzer. I'm not even on hold. But now, we have a nice little love-hate relationship. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. So you push it through. You can push it through. The worst part is the nose. I feel like I can't breathe when I'm drawing this line. So the first thing we're going to do is blend out the contour. Let me turn this one aside. This is a Sonia Castor brush. Had a long time ago. I don't even know if it had a number on it. Sonia Castor brush usually don't have numbers on it. So I'm going to go ahead and say it doesn't. It didn't have a name either. I just kind of repurposed it for something. And it looks great for a contour. I'm always blend this up into my hairline because I don't want any harsh lines of demarcation. That's the worst. See how I use that shadow effect? Living for it. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and work my beauty blender. I'm going to start with this. And my nose contour always gets messed up after I, put, after I blend out my concealer. Like without fail, it does. Because the concealer spreads. I don't know how to control it. Somebody help me. If you have any tips or tricks, let us just know them because it'd be annoying. change that really quick and then I'll be right back so now I'm gonna go ahead and with my blush I'm using the Juvia's Place um, what is it liquid blush what are they called 
Blush Liquid Blush in a shade Blush Lumi. Alright, I heard these bad boys are pigmented, so let me see. Not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. Just a nice wash of color. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my contour. And I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the powder shade 375 Deep Amber. It's going to be my first layer. I'm also going to go into the Morphe Glam Bronze in the shade Supreme and this is going to add some warmth to my face. Kosos, and I'm just going to comb First, I'm going to go this way. Make sure everything's nice and coated. And then I'm going to apply some blush to set my cream blush. I'm going into the Juvia Face Volume 4. And I think I'm going to focus on this light pink one down here.
Looking for some mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Sky High in the shade Cosmic Black. Love this mascara. Start running. I'm gonna stop tearing up and I hate that. Especially when I'm at the stage, like, don't play with me, do not play. Let's get it together. And then I love turning the mascara around this way to clump up the bottom lashes. because it gives me the appearance that I have lashes without me actually having lashes. Because I don't have lashes. This magical, wondrous creature was created just for me. So I have lashes. I need to let out my lashes. Because a little bit of lashes that I do have are so curly that I cannot put the falsies on them. Cannot. At all. I'm going in with the two Fenty Beauties, the shade Breadwinner and the shade Riri. I'm going to go with Breadwinner first. Video that dream of my falling. That was crazy. I didn't know the lap would be concerned. Now I'm going in with Riri and putting that in the center. You know what? Let me stop playing. I didn't even set my face. I almost dropped it. But I got my hands. I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark Deep. mug it is such a fine mist oh my god I love it this is makeup revolution eyeliner in the shade and I'll be right back. Oh 
okay so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed comments questions and concerns leave them down below i promise i'll get back to you if any of the new products that i mentioned you guys have tried let me know what you guys think of them um so far the ones that i use today i'm absolutely loving they're giving what they're supposed to be giving and that makes me happy because i didn't waste my money um yeah so that's that i'm loving the look i love the blue shirt in contrast with the pink and everything going on it's just it's a whole look it's a whole vibe that's the word i'm looking for it's it's, it's a vibe and it's giving i really want to put gloss on though i really want to put gloss on I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to put on some gloss, but I ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm -mm. Cause this is giving. All right, I'm caving, I'm putting no gloss. This is the Essence Extreme Shine Gloss in the shade 105 Flower Blossom. I'm happy with my 